kind of expanded to 2004, I had to leave the paramedics because I couldn't cope with the training and what was happening to the train. <laughs> so, um, but one thing uh, which I hope very dear to me is that not just giving them the skills, but rather giving them the courage and confidence. And that knowing the importance of living, rather than just step A, step B, step C, you know why you actually living. Right? So, um, that, that is what I, how I started out. Brain training, and uh, I, I I did find my true passion with that. But one of the biggest lessons which I learned as a paramedic was when I was a doctor. Oh, okay, so what's the most important lesson? <laughs> Maybe I'll tell you next time. Yes. Most important lesson was when I was a doctor paramedic. I met with a serious accident. Okay. Uh, me myself had taken a case. I lost control of the bike and I landed inside brain. It sounds very bad, okay? But it's even worse when, when you see me that time because I landed very first in the brain. And uh, I had very bad injuries to my face. The face was fractured, my nose was broken. I don't look nothing like I look now after oh. that brain was up. No, passing by, but not many of them stopped. Only three of them stopped. And out of these three, two of them came to me, and you know what they did? They were like looking at me, and they were like looking at my number three. <laughs>
must. Now, if you're going to do CPR, it's very, very highly recommended to use a face shield. Okay? It's a plastic sheet. Usually, it's white. Uh, it's, it's transparent. You can see over the person's face. Uh, there's no such an effect. It's transparent and black color. If the person is very happy, you can use the black color. <laughs>